Hello, hello, my name is Ben, and thanks for your interest in Hailstrike. In this video, we'll quickly go through a little bit of everything that we have to offer, so let's get started. Let's briefly look at some of our major products, the Hailstrike subscription, Aniswath maps, and OneSite reports. Using these together can really help you focus your efforts and improve profitability. By default, we see the ground reports for Hail for today's date, as represented by pink squares. As you can see, there aren't any for today. You can also look at wind and tornado reports for a date or date range. Our most popular product, the Hailstrike subscription, uses the roughly 150 NOAA NEXRAD radar stations to track the heart of the hailstorms with only a 5 to 10 minute delay. This allows you to see the path of the storm almost in real time. Let's look at June 13, 2012. There was a strong storm that went through the Dallas-Fort Worth area on this day that will really demonstrate the value of our products. You can see all the ground spotter reports that popped up for this day, so let's compare those to the paths created from actual radar data. We'll use a wider radius to see more as well. Paths are available through a monthly or annual subscription to Hailstrike. It looks like most of the ground reports were pretty accurate for this storm, matching up pretty well with what the radar saw. But if you only rely on these, you'll discover how inaccurate they can be. For example, look at this ground report in Southern Plano. The spotter saw golf ball sized hail at Trinity Mills and the Dallas North Tollway. That is actually here, about 7 miles away, right where the radar picked up a cell of 2 to 3 inch hail in the storm. This is because the National Weather Service marks where the spotter was calling from rather than where they actually observed the event. So solely relying on these can be hit or miss. You can see that there were several paths of hail cells through the Metroplex on this day, and as we all know, the more hail, the more damage. If I were still roofing, I'd hit the neighborhoods along the path and work my way out until I found the edge of where the hail fell. But to save my sales team a lot of time and effort, I would also purchase an Anaswath map for this storm. Anaswaths, or animated swaths, also use the Nexrad radar stations and show where the hail was actually falling to the ground. We've given you the most accurate tool available in the industry. So let me load the Aniswath for this storm, and you'll see what I mean. Aniswaths are ordered per date, per radar station. The Aniswath map immediately begins playback upon loading, showing you when and where the hail fell as detected by radar. Animating the swaths allow you to see the duration and direction of the activity at any point on the map. Here we're looking at a 150 mile radius around the radar station, giving us a moment by moment animation of the storm. No one else offers anything like this. Let's look at the overview to see where most of the hail fell. The legend shows us how intense the storm was, or how much hail was falling at each point. It looks like there were four main tracks of hail in this storm, so let's turn the paths back on to see how they compare. Here's the ground report in Plano we looked at earlier. There was probably a wind out of the south pushing the hail to the north as it fell. The spotter observed the hail at the edge of the storm, it looks like, but his marker was placed on the opposite side of the storm. A traditional swath map probably wouldn't be very accurate in this case. So, if you make the Aniswath image transparent, and zoom in a bit more, then turn on satellite view, you can see exactly which neighborhoods to target. You can then print this map to hand out to your sales team as needed. OneSite reports provide detailed information on a specific address based on actual Nexrad radar data. The report shows hail activity dating back two years, both at the location and within two miles of the location. Once the storm dates have been collected and listed, you can then select one as your date of loss, which you see highlighted here. This report tells us storm duration and intensity, which we can see here, estimated maximum hail size detected, and storm speed and direction, which we can see here. You are also given three maps showing you the location, the paths of the storm from the date of loss, and a piece of the Aniswath map for the storm from the date of loss, providing definitive evidence of activity at the address. This is an invaluable report that can make a huge impact on your business immediately, helping you to close more deals and complete jobs faster. So that's a quick overview of some of our more popular products and features. 
There's a lot more power and functionality available in these and other products we have to offer. So give us a call or send us an email and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Again, my name is Ben and thanks for your interest in Hailstrike. We hope to hear from you soon.